What is happening guys? It is your girl Zai and I'm coming to you all with another video. Today we're here talking about this turtle tank. As you can see Speedy is here in the background swimming away having a great time. His tank is clean but I just wanted to take you all to the pro through the process with me and show you what I do every two weeks or so to make sure his tank is in good condition so that we have a happy turtle. I hope you all enjoy this this video I will be releasing more videos soon so stay tuned don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I release new videos so without further ado let's get into the video hey y'all so here is my turtle his name is speedy uh, he's a very happy turtle I got this turtle I want to say last year November so he is growing he's growing growing as you can see his tank is not clean it needs to be clean um, I just wanted to show you all how his tank look before I clean it as you can see he doesn't have a lot of algae build up on his tank but um, his water is dirty um, you can see a little bit at the top here that's his filter uh, his filter is nasty as well so I just wanted to show you all what his tank looked like before and then um, later on the video I'll show you all what his tank looks like afterwards this is his light he have a UVB light in a um, sunlight so I advise you all, if you have one of these, don't touch it. It's very hot. Um, so right now I'm unplugging, taking the screen off of the tank and sitting it down. And then I'm just going to begin to um, take everything out. I'm just showing you all um, what I'll be taking out of the tank. Look at him. He's so adorable. I oh, scared him. I was trying to scare him. He's very skittish, by the way. But that is the filter there. Um, I wanted to show you all the inside of the filter. As you can see, there's a lot of gunk, algae buildup. And so his filter definitely needs to be cleaned. Over here is the heater. Um, it has a little buildup on the heater as well. But I'm going to begin to start taking the things out of the aquarium, putting it into this basket here. That is his basking area, so I'm going to take his basking area out as well. Some people don't like this type of basking area, but I find it to be very effective. I don't know um, if it'll work once he gets bigger, but it's been working so far, so I haven't had a problem with the basking area. Here is some aquarium water, so I took the water out of his aquarium so that I could put him into it. Never use the water out of the sink, it is dangerous for your turtle. Um, they have a lot of toxins in it, so you definitely want to use water that is already, um, you know, has all the bacteria and everything that is needed um, for him to feel comfortable. So this is Speedy here, uh, he's a little bit stressed, he doesn't like to be held a lot, but I'm taking him out of his aquarium, putting him into the water and letting him swim around. Usually when I take him out of his aquarium, put him into a new environment, um, it does stress him out a lot. As you can see, he, he does not like this, he is not enjoying this um, at all. I'm waiting for oh there's my dog Oscar <laughs> he got in the way I believe but as you can see he does not like being in this container he's like what are you doing I did not ask to be in here like maybe girl I, no this is not my tank <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so to, you know, make him feel a little bit more comfortable, I just put some shrimp inside of the water so that he could feel a little less stressed, you know, take his mind off of being in a new environment until I can clean out his aquarium and um, get the proper temperature and everything so that I can put him back into his water. As you can see, that water is kind of brownish as well, so definitely trying to change his water. He's looking for more treats, guys, but I'm not, I give him a little, a small amount of treats, but I don't overdo it because it's not good for your turtle. So right now I'm taking a clean washcloth and just cleaning the inside of his aquarium with the water already in there. I never use um tap water to clean it out or chemicals to clean out the inside of his tank because those chemicals could be dangerous to your turtle um some people may you know some people may clean their tanks differently my turtle is in great condition so this has been working for me so yeah um if you don't like getting your hands dirty <laughs> this may not be the pet for you because you do have to continue to clean their tank out and keep it in great condition um, as long as you have the turtle. But yeah, I'm just cleaning the tank out. I'll go back in and dry um, the tank with a dry prepper towel. But I'm just wiping any dust or debris on the top of his tank off. This is the uh, pump or water sucker, whatever you want to call it, that I use to get the water out of his tank. Um, I read some instructions. I've seen some people just use it to get the debris off the bottom of the tank, but I find that's not as effective for me. And so I usually just suck uh, most of the water out of this tank, at least 80% of it. And then, um, of course, I'm not able to get all the bacteria out. Some of it is good bacteria. Um, so I don't, I usually don't get all of the water out, but I do get most of it out. And um, when I first started, I did experience bacteria bloom. Um, I will link a video down below. Um, there's a girl, her name is the Turtle Girl, and she will talk to y'all about the her, the uh, bacteria bloom and how to prevent it so I've had my turtle for a while now so I've been able to adjust and see how um, you know to change his water to prevent that in the future and I've definitely had some success with that but here I'm just sucking all of the water out of the tank so that I can uh, put some new water in
most of the water is out of the tank as you can see there is a little bit still left in the tube but I think I just put that back in there here is his filters um, don't wash the filters with tap water I used the aquarium water to rinse out his filters to put them back um, I've read some people say that you don't have to throw the filters away just wash them off because they do have the bacteria on them and you want to kind of keep that balance within his tank so that he can have a healthy life as you can see it looks like some gunk is still on there but I did try my best to get as most of it off as I could Here I'm just showing you guys um, how the water is suctioning out of the tank into the sink. Um, this is a great tool that I was able to purchase um, from PetSmart. Um, it it makes the process really easy. So here I am filling the tank up with clean water. And as you can see, the water looks completely different, completely, completely different. And I just want to give you all a close-up of the tank. Complete. That's a major difference, right? Major difference. Major, major, major difference. Look at Oscar. Oh my gosh. This is my dog, guys. He wanted some attention. <laughs> I was showing his other brother some attention, but he wanted some attention. Say hey, Oscar. Say hey. <laughs> he is so adorable. He is five years old, by the way. So adorable. Okay, so I want to show you all the temperature as well. Once, when you're uh, putting new water in, you want to make sure that the temperature is on at least 78 degrees. Um, it's a good temperature for your turtle. Just showing you all the tank. It looks pretty clean. So I'm just still filling up the tank here. It takes about takes about 30 minutes to uh, put the water back in the tank. If you have any questions about where I purchased the gravel inside of the tank or anything just let me know here you can see the temperature has changed is at 74 degrees now um, so throughout this process I wanted I waited until about 78 degrees um, in order to put him before I put him back into his tank Okay, so I've put the container back in along with his filter. Um, I like to put that in first so the water can begin to start flowing through the filter and um, start to filter out the water. Um, I like to do this process while I'm waiting for the temperature to get to 78. That is Repti Safe, so I put Repti Safe. Uh, I put Repti Safe <laughs> into his tank. Um, it's to combat the chlorine that is in the tap water. Um, this is his basking area here. I'm just sitting it in place. Um, if you don't know, having a basking turtle, this is definitely an important component to having your turtle um, because you want to make sure that their shell can properly dry. And with the UVB light, you want to make sure that they can get the proper UVB light on their shell to help their growth, calcium, because they do have bones, things of that sort as well. 
here I'm putting the heater back in once I hook up the heater that will help um, his temperature to regulate to about 78 degrees and I'm just putting his decorations back in there I don't put many decorations I used to do live plants um, but I don't do live plants anymore because uh, he would eat the plants um, I try not to put much in his tank because uh, your turtle will eat it if you get a turtle they will eat it so just be careful about what you put inside of the tank uh, I decided not to do any plastic leaves or you know plastic decorations inside of this tank I didn't want to risk him chewing on it and choking or swallowing it so that's just I put his log back in there um, he do climb on his log every now and then just to give him some exercise but that's the main setup. I don't do a lot with this tank, honestly. <laughs> Here I attempted to hook up, it's a night and day plug-in. Um, it's like a timer so that your turtle has the ample amount of light that he needs throughout the day. Because you don't want to leave his light on all day. You want to have him on a schedule. But I couldn't seem to get it to work, honestly. <laughs> As you can see here, I'm trying to get it to work. I think I gave up after a while and I just decided I would go back to it. Okay, so I put his screen back on. Um, you do want to have a barrier between the lights and your turtle. So I'm just setting his light um, fixture back up. So I wanted to give you all a close up of his filter and show you all the difference and how I cleaned it up and everything. Got all the algae off, it's running pretty good. The water flow is great as well. By the way, this is a 55 gallon tank, you guys. I don't know if I mentioned it before. Um, if you have any questions about what tank you should purchase, depending on the type of turtle you have, uh, feel free to comment and let me know. So here is Speedy. Of course, he is in the tank water that is not tap water. It's tank water. I'm just scrubbing his shell a bit to get any algae that may have been left on his shell I want to make sure that it's in great condition um, and that it's growing properly you know just to check it out and everything he truly hates this process but I do it out of love I hope you know I, I do it because I love him I love him look at him he's just like please put me back in my tank please 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 but as you can see, his shell is in great condition. There's no pyramiding or anything. His meat content is very healthy. Um, he's a very healthy, happy turtle. Not right now, maybe, but <laughs> he is a wonderful turtle. He's very shy, doesn't like to be on camera, and he doesn't like to be held much. But he does like to interact with you um, on the outside of his aquarium tank.
So if he's in his aquarium and you walk past, he will um, interact with you, but he does not like to be held. Okay guys, so that is the end of this video. I really truly hope you all enjoyed this video. If you would like more videos on me doing things for my turtle in regards to maintenance or anything, um, please feel free to comment down below and let me know. Also, there is a channel that I've been watching. I started watching this channel when I got my turtle. Her channel name is the turtle girl i will link her channel down below um she has some great video content in regards to helping people who are interested in getting a turtle so again if you have any questions about my turtle or the things i do on a daily basis please feel free to comment down below or inbox me whatever you prefer email me um i will get back to you as soon as possible but I hope y'all enjoyed this video, enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace. Bye.